Hi everybody! And welcome back! Last time on Betrayal at Crondor, we sold a whole lot of useless junk and we bought a whole lot of useful junk. And get this, we got a swordplay lesson from Ted Questor. That's right, THE Ted Questor. And there's some hooligans on the street who want to ambush us. I don't know if they want to ambush us or... Uh, well, they obviously want to ambush us, but I don't know if they're assassins or um, just just regular highwaymen. I don't care though. We're quest or trained. They those guys got nothing on us, nothing at all, nothing. And I think we're just going to charge at them. Yes, we agree to attack. Charge! The enemy was not surprised and. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> so we're going to fight on their terms now, as we are used to. Um, <clears throat> let's see, um, I also want to try this... How many are there? Yeah, they... No, that's not a guy, that's just a signpost. Okay, uh, I want to try something here. I want to place a mine right in front of... Um, right in front of Owen, and then pull that guy into it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I want to try that. <laughs> maybe, um, just because we don't really have... It's not a real risk in this fight, and placing the mine right next to the enemy would be a surefire way to do it, but... Um, let's see, 10 was enough, right? Uh, health. Alright, yeah. Um, if I placed it here, he would surely run into it. But, um, this is a pretty safe environment to try this out, and there are enemies in the game who um, remain stationary, like spellcasters. And I want to be able to, to harm those with this idea, so I'm going to try it out right now. And I also want to know if... Um, uh, I want to know if there's some some damage on Owen if we do this, because we couldn't see that last time. Oh, that's not good. I didn't want you to move there. Okay. Um, then I'm going to try to pull him in there. Let's see. Oh, he can't, because... Yeah, right. Um, let's move you here, then. Okay, let's see. I don't think Owen took no damage. Wonderful. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Wonderful. So this is awesome. This is an awesome spell. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Mm. I'm still tempted to. Well, let's let's move Owen here. And Locklear, you're being absolutely useless. Well, to be fair, he is fighting the toughest of them. He's trying to escape. We can't have that. We need to blind him. Um, despair the eyes that was here, I think. And I think now you can see why magic is so important in this game. Um, this this spell is completely new to me, Gambit of the Eight. Um, I'm really happy about it, though. Ah, wonderful. That worked. Get in there. <laughs> That's a very satisfying sound. I, I think that's an awesome, satisfying sound. You heal up. Um. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, Heal up. I wanted him to do it again. What a shame. Oh, he's trying to escape. I don't think we'll have any of that. Very good. Yeah, nobody ambushes a party of people who've been trained by Ted Questor. We're alive! Let's loot them. Thinking only makes it worse. Thinking makes everything worse, trust me. Uh, this is a regular... A noble's pass key. <laughs> Legendary for its tendency to snap off and locks at inconvenient moments. Very good, we need that. <laughs> um, we have enough arrows. 
You got whetstone, that's always good to have. And you, my friend, we have a little bit of gold. Blue gold, the best kind there is. What does this say? Nothing? What do you say now? South to Krondor, which is where we're heading, unless... Yeah. Come on. Yeah, north is... Yeah, we're going to head south along the coast towards south, whatever that is. Um... Yeah, that's us positioned right. And let's, re let's rest up a bit. Everybody's a bit worse for the wear. And now everybody's a tiny bit better. Since we're good on ration, we could have rested another night, but honestly, I feel really confident. Um, which means that bad things are about to happen. Yes, of course, you need to make the turn at the exact right moment, otherwise it would be bad. Nonetheless. Is there something around here? I don't see anything. To get everything in this game, you pretty much have to um, to go into detail and scout pretty much every part of the map. Because many things are just obscured by boulders or... A farmer was ahead of them, debating a moment whether it would be more prudent to hide before they were seen or behave normally. Yeah, I think the behaving normally ship has sailed. Luckily decided that the man was probably of no immediate threat to them. This is a bad time for travel. Bad time for travel. Oh, it's Jesus! How very nice. Jesus Row. I hope for your good health that that you have found shelter against the coming tempest. Good sirs. Tempest? Surely you have heard. The learned monks of Sarth have predicted a terrible storm is coming this way, and I would hate to think of anyone caught out of it in it. Why a man should catch why a man could catch his death of the fevers. If you would like, you may raid it out in my barn. What profit would you turn this enterprise? Five golden sovereign sovereigns, a reasonable sum, and the guard over my cows. You can sleep in the hayloft of my barn, but my wife and I don't take in elves. Racists! Seven gold pieces, the elf stays with us, and we each get a hard roll for breakfast. <laughs> a hard roll, it has to be hard. I want it to be two weeks old. <laughs> Luckily, it's so weird. Uh. 10 gold with a lot of you milk cows the next morning, that's the offer, take it or leave it. It's too hilarious not to take it. <laughs> Deal, where is this barn of yours? Keep heading south, you should pass the Abbey of Ishab of Zetzarath. You know you're right close to it when you've passed the Temple of Sun. There's a temple, good. From there it's just around Yellow Moon Mount. Mule Mount. And when you find the barn, just go knock on the door and my wife will fix you up. Thank you, farmer. Your hospitality will be remembered. This smells like a trap. I don't remember if it is. I just suspect it is one. Although his bartering was pretty in detail, so he's a, at the very least he's a good actor. Or this offer is um, legit. I just hope we're going to get our hard rolls. <laughs> even, if we, even if we have to milk the cows for it. Damn it, Locklear wants his hard roll! He's going to be grouchy all day if he doesn't get it. <laughs> so weird. Well, the farm seems to be quite a ways away. Um, so uh, we're just going to burn that bridge when we come to it. I know that's not how the saying goes, it's just how it's going to turn out. It's just how it's going to turn out when, when I have anything to say about it. Mm. Delicious cranberry juice. I ran out of milk again, so no hot chocolate for me. I don't know, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's check the, the road to the, to the left here. Left being northeast, apparently. 
We have shovels now, so I actually hope for for a few graves. Um. Ugh, just a chest. Ah, let's check it so so that it doesn't explode in our faces. Where was it? Sniff the chest. Sniff it, Owen. Okay, it's a more little box. <sighs> Let's see. I'm not very... Well, I, so far I've opened every one of them, I think, so... Buckets, barrels, baskets, cans. What must you fill with empty hands? Obvious. This is. This sounds like a like a very obvious one. Mm. Is it something abstract? Or something. Mm. it ends in S. I'm sticking with shorts. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that would be so nice. Oh no. Oh, we're just we're making no progress, are we? Okay, maybe ES. Shores. sense, but that's never stopped me. Jerry. 
is. <laughs> this is getting me nowhere. Um, this is a res. Riveting watching, I know. Horrors? <laughs> That's not right. something really good in it. I don't know what, but I want it. Uh, hearts? Can that be? No. that there's an unopened moral chest here and at some point I'm going to come back um, because nobody wants to to see 10 minutes of this it's probably already been 10 minutes I don't know it is a moral chest north of Sara okay um well that doesn't get didn't get us anything Trading. What must you fill with empty hands? I need to stop thinking about it. Uh, what's down here? How was it? Over there, okay. I'm hoping for an ambush because now I'm angry again. And dealing with some defenseless Moralville assassins would just do the trick right about now. Mm, or is this just sloping around? I think it is. It looks like it. Or some graves. You don't need to solve riddles to, to, to open graves. You just need your trusty old shovel. Hmm. Yeah, this just slopes back to the main road. I don't know, did we miss something on the main road by doing that? Let's take a quick look behind us. Certainly doesn't look like it. There's something... There's something there. Did we kill that guy? I don't think we did. <laughs> okay. 14 poisoned rations. Well, that's useless to us. <laughs> Man. <laughs> there must be some sort of... There must be some amount of randomness in the game because I don't remember... Some of those things I would have remembered, I'm sure of it. Um, <laughs> a dead, and this guy was a moral build, the one with the, pretty high up, I think, because the one with the, the ones with the purple lavender, I think it was lavender-like. Oh. Bird shot into the sky. I think we might do well to pay attention to that little creature. Whatever startled it may be close at hand. If we continue in the direction we are currently headed, I suggest we do so with grace caution. Which, me, which means... Uh, thank you, Owen. <laughs> uh, 
Which means that just another step is going to get us into an ambush. I don't see anybody though. I am, however, pretty sure that we're well prepared. So let's continue onwards. The party's abilities have increased. Probably our stealth abilities. I still don't see anybody. Okay, onwards. Okay. Figure emerges from behind the trees. Let's kill it! Those guys. Um, I don't know why the music just went down. Oh, that's better. How do we deal with that particular situation? Um, I think it would be best to first blind him, then we can still do something else. Okay, I don't think the crossbow man is that that much of a threat. Behind Gorath, you can start pummeling that mage. Very good. That's not good. That's not good either. Um, hit him. Keep hitting that mage. Okay, he snapped out of it. Very good. You just go up here and help. He's running away. We can't have that. Blind him either. Um, I'll just, yeah, keep doing that. <laughs> You're pretty good at it. But yeah, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't think so. Nothing, nothing I can do about it now. Back, which is good, I guess. You defend. And you get back down here. That's how we do it. <laughs> Probably, I shouldn't be pummeling people so much with. Very good with Owen. But hey, he's, he's getting pretty good at it. No, you just defend. That's good. It's all good. Getting no hard rolls tomorrow. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I love when Owen does that. It's completely useless, but it's so fun. <laughs> Not completely useless. Sometimes he actually does a little bit of damage. Very nice. Oh. more. Kill that man. Okay, you can... Uh, oh, you regenerate. Well, we have the time for it. You too. You too. Now you can kill. Oh! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, luckily it's coming out of his shell, I think. I think he killed everybody, all of those three. Yeah, our abilities increased, very nice. Whetstone. Always good to have those. And lockpicks, also very good. 
We have a lot of those now. And what do you have? Ooh, Marvel Brooch. Those are worth a lot. And a two-handed sword, which may also be worth a lot. What is this? Powder bag. Throw into face of victim. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's do that sometimes. <laughs> and healing stuff and regular rations that are not poisoned or spoiled. Sharon. Very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah. Let's actually repair our junk. And since we have so many of the whetstones, we can yeah, repair that as well. Uh, why don't you have hammers anymore? Oh, because you have them. Okay. Bit of a waste, but... Okay. No, you don't need a whetstone. Okay. And everybody's gotten a bit better at that. Very nice. Progress! Uh, I just want what's inside that chest. Uh, never mind. I think money-wise we're doing pretty well and, and, and this really... Equipment-wise we're doing fine as well. We got good armor, we got good weapons, we got some junk to sell, we got provisions, we got... I shouldn't be complaining. It's all good. Now, where would this lead us were we to go there? Which I don't think we will because it's head straight enough. Alright, this is just to connect. Um, yeah, this was just, I don't know, maybe to Agli, maybe to the forest. Never mind, it's not where we need to go. We're unstoppable. <laughs> Why are we moving so slow? That's better. And well, there's something in this area. Okay, first of all, let's rest. Okay, goody. Now, let's see. There was some... Yeah, there's a field here. Don't know if there's anybody there, but let's investigate. Moving awfully slow from time to time, right? Like right now. A garden was nearby, wrinkling his nose at the smell of fresh fertilizer. Ooh, goody. Owen pointed out a small cloud of dust that rose off the roadside. Within the cloud, a mushroom-shaped man was hard at work, his hoe rising and dipping over a row of budding pink potato eyes. Flashing his irrepressible smile, Lockley crept up behind the mark. <laughs> that guy is such a creep. Yeah. Uh, brother Mark. I have jumped out of my ropes. Hello there, strangers. I hope I'm disturbing you. <laughs> no, no. I was just about to leave the garden anyway. Busy hands set the mind to work, you know. On our way to stop? Perhaps, brother. He's such a creep. <coughs> brother Mark of Sarf. Glad to meet ya. Um, we don't get many... Gilirati here? Books don't seem to interest the commoners as much as gold or wenching. I didn't know you could use wench as a verb. <laughs> but we have scholars enough, all going blind from reading worm-eaten book, books and a dozen boys scribbling away their youths in our vaults. It's an unusual place. We don't molest them! I have a friend who visited here once. He told me that you worship the god of knowledge. They do th say that, yes. And I suppose after a fashion it is true. If there is a question that can be answered in no other place, your best hope is to look in our vaults. Yeah, let's ask about casting, why not? You know anything about spellcasting? 
I know a little of it, but Brother Dominic knows more about it than I. As soon as he finishes his studies on uh, Quiggy and Silver Coats, I'm certainly would be more than happy to sit down and talk to you about it. You should be only another two or three months at it, I would think. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have... Oh, okay. The Russian thing. He's an elf. I'm afraid we don't have two or three months to wait. Why don't we leave the brother alone, nephew? Now don't discourage the boy from asking questions, or you'll become afraid to question anything. I think I might have some time to teach him a bit about focusing. If you can spare a few sovereigns, say 50, is that acceptable to everyone? Yes, to learn spells, always. More than acceptable, where do we start? Ah, an enthusiastic student. Delightful. This will be a pleasure to teach. Owen Blanche, he had been assigned a simple enough task. Cast a telekinetic spell to move his satchel closer to him. Instead, his satchel had remained obstinately stationary while holding Brother Mark backwards into his well-tempered crops. We'll take that spell! Are you alright? I didn't mean for that to happen. You're still depending on your eyes. See with the forest, Brother Mark sighed. Brushing a stalk of corn out of his face as he struggled to his feet. Concentrate. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you can't see what you are affecting, all the spells in the world will be utterly useless to you. Instead of trying to see a target, try to feel it with the forest. Now let's try this again. I know you'll learn this eventually. We don't have any more time to waste. We don't have any more time to waste, Gorath said. Why don't you pick up your things and we can get ready to move, Owen? Again on his feet, Brother Mark went to console his downcast pupil, patting him reassuringly on the shoulder. Remember, feel the target. That's the key. Until then, I suggest you stock up on a good supply of loot and concentrate to get you through your exercises. We have those. I don't know if you learned anything with that. Well, we'll see. Going south. Any hazards? Apparently not. Mercenaries? Quickie and press gangs. <laughs> the slot landed just south of Quest's view. The foam spinner. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, bad weather? Because we've been told about that by that Jesus like farmer. Storm? It is the first I've heard of such a meteorological disturbance. Brother Giram did mention it to me before I left the Abbey this morning. That's strange, we met a gentleman named Roe who said a storm had been predicted by the brothers at the Abbey. I wonder why he would tell you such a thing. Of course, he has been acting peculiarly since his wife died. A terrible tragedy and striking at such a time when he had to give up his farm. I really must feel for the poor old soul, so he doesn't have a wife anymore. Okay, it's a trap. How about spells? Owen. <laughs> Just something simple so we can defend ourselves in case we run into anyone hostile on the road. Um, Flame cast! That sounds like what we've been looking for. Yes, we are going to paste 30 sovereigns for it. Always for spells. Yes, be quick about it. Be quick about it. Um, okay, good. Vaults? Can we be in there? Uh, Brother Anthony. Difficulty finding many of the books have never been catalogued. I never find, find anything. Is there any inn around here? Yeah, the cold ground sucks. Baben's hostel, hostel and Questor's view, the old Bywater Inn. No, you can't join us. Oh, they can do their dream sendings. How nice. We heard about that before. Um, we just disjointed. I thought I'd seen your elf friend's face before. Okay, so they're sending his face around. Goodbye. That's not good. 
Yeah, we do have a few things to think about. That ambush, for example, in that shed. Well, now we're prepared. I thought there was something fishy about that. Fight his abilities have increased. Good. Um, I don't want to eat the corn. I want to... Yeah, there's the scroll. Flame cast. Very good. Learn it! Good. Well, we're a bit low on money again. Well, relatively low. Still almost 300 sovereigns, but we have that brooch. Uh, brooch. It's going to fetch a pretty penny, I think. So that was worth it. Now we have an offensive spell, flame cast. I think that's area of effect too. Um, so that's good. And I've completely lost direction again. So this is going south. This is going east. Where do we need to go? Let's take a look, look at our trusty old map. Well, south, there's nothing. We're almost at Krondor. And faster than I thought we would be there. Let's head down that road, I guess, that seems to be heading nowhere. Maybe that's where that farm is that this treacherous bastard told us about. No, there's just simply nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> that's a disappointment. Back on the road. That's very nice. So very, very nice to have learned that spell. That makes me happy. We have quite an arsenal at our disposal now, and I believe we may be able to buy more at Krondor. It's a large city and all that. Um, But I'm happy with what we have now, and Owen's gotten better at spellcasting. That's always good, because um, spells like flamecast, spells that you actually like projectile spells, um, they work similar to to crossbows. In that they uh, can hit friends if you're not good at it. So that's good. Um, but we're going to continue next time, and until then. Take care of yourselves, be well, and have fun. Bye-bye.